Hi. How's it going, humans? Now that we're recording, I better take out my notes. <clears throat> <clears throat> So if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Becca, also known as Barbie Marley, and it is super nice to meet you. Aloha! So today I'm going to talk about some posts that people tend to put on social media as their status or as a tweet or whatever the hell you want to call it. Anywho, the things that these people post are ridiculous and there are certain categories that really grind my gears that I honestly just want to never be posted on the internet ever again because they don't belong there and they need to stop. So maybe if I make a video about it, people will listen. I don't know. So I'm going to go for it. It's worth a shot. So I'm going to make a list and tell them about you. Hmm? Alright, very first thing that people should not post in their Facebook statuses or Twitter or whatever the hell media status you have is spoilers for TV shows or sporting events or anything that I haven't had the chance to watch yet because I'm at work or doing something and you don't need to be posting things that are going to tell me what I've been waiting for all day to get excited about and you ruin it for me and I just don't like when people do that shit. And Okay, you know what doesn't count as spoiler alert? When you put the spoiler alert, actually those words, like spoiler alert, at the end of your fucking status. Um, asshole. You have to put that at the beginning. Right, the next status that I do not like seeing on the internets is when people post rest in peace, my friend that just died. Okay? I understand that you're bummed that your friend died, but you advertising that to the world is not necessary. And do you want to know something that's really disappointing? When you find out that your close friend died through another close friend on social media. Like, that's ridiculous. That's not the way to find out that your friend died. So you shouldn't be posting rest in peace statuses. Like, I don't feel like Facebook or social media is the place for talking about, for like, learning that your friend died. It's like, la da da, I'm having a nice day. Oh, shit. If you really want to give your condolences to a person, because they're not going to see your Facebook status, they're dead, okay? If you want to give your condolences, call up their family and tell your their family that you're sorry. That's, that's all you have to do. Not post a stupid rest in peace, attention, Facebook status, please. Next, 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 next is couples that either are really motherfucking lovey-dovey all over each other in social media status like oh my god my boyfriend's the best he got me this 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 and this he's so lovely i love you so much baby and they like post it on each other's walls and shit like ain't nobody give a shit you can text that to each other or say that to each other's face why are you putting that on the internet also when they argue like are you fucking kidding me how immature i've totally seen so many like even married couples posting statuses like oh my god my husband is such a dick he just did this da -na 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 -na. do you really think that telling your friends on facebook what your significant other did wrong is gonna make them like your significant other in the future and then later you're gonna be arguing and be like, why would you post that about me? Why would you make our argument public? Like, I just see no point for couples talking on Facebook in public. Like, keep that shit to yourself. Get a room. Whew. What up, 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 beep, 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 beep. Another one that really gets to me is when people post a status that is like clearly asking for attention or you know, it happens a lot like for example with pictures like somebody will post a picture of themselves and then the status will i mean like the little caption will be i'm so fat in this picture um so you're trying to get me to comment oh my god no you're not you look beautiful fuck you fishing for compliments like i hate attention seeking statuses they really grind my gears and it doesn't necessarily have to be a picture like let me think of an example. Oh my god, I just gave a homeless guy $20. Feel so good about myself. Um, no one gives a shit. You, like, the fact that you have to justify the fact that you did something good for somebody by telling everybody so that you're actually just being selfish and you didn't actually do a good deed for anybody. Like those, uh, attention-seeking statuses. Pew 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 pew. They need to stop. Cease existence. Por favor. Okay, another one that gets to me is when somebody posts like, hey, anybody know anybody who's hiring? <laughs> go on Craigslist, go walk in, go look for signs that say hiring. What are you doing, you lazy bum, trying to get the easy way out? 
I don't know. I feel like maybe you could talk specifically to your friends and be like, hey, I know you work high in this company and I'm interested in that job. So maybe I'm gonna send you this personal message and ask you for a job, but not like post a status, anybody hiring? I feel like that's, I would never hire somebody who posted a anybody hiring status because I feel like they don't even have the initiative to like go and do the work that it takes to get a job. Why would they do the work that I'm providing for them? Like, hello? And then the very last one that I have for you guys today is when people post religious statuses. The last thing that I need when I'm hanging out on a social media site that is meant to be fun and entertaining is your political or religious views. Like, I just honestly don't feel like that's the place to post that. Like, do people not realize that more than just themselves or their five groups of friends that like their status read their statuses? Like, do people not realize that everybody can see that and just because they don't like comment on it or like it doesn't mean that they didn't read it? Like, I feel like putting your views, like, I'm sorry, I didn't come to your house or your private place or your church. I don't really care about your religious views. So why are you posting them in a place that's public? Like, I don't feel like that's necessary at all. Uh, at all. It just, it gets to me. I'm sorry. That's one of the ones that gets to me. Okay. Hey, do you know what time it is? Do you know the time of the day? Oh, it is time for Becca's tip of the day. It's really hot in here. I'm gonna go fan for a second. Uh, attractive. Okay, so today's tip of the day is for anybody who posts any of these things that we were just talking about earlier in the video. And if you are one of these people, or you know one of these people, you should let them know that there's this lovely place on the internet called Reddit. And on Reddit, there is a subreddit for everything. It's not that you can't post the status on the internet, it's just that you're not posting it in the correct place. Social media is not the correct place to complain or talk about any of the things that I was just talking about. When there's a subreddit of other people that care about what you have to talk about. And even if there's not a subreddit for one of those subjects, you can make your own subreddit. So I highly encourage all of you to go over to Reddit because I don't have to subscribe to those subreddits and I don't have to hear your bullshit shenanigans. Mahalo. Alright guys, so I hope you liked that video, and I hope that you agree that any of those previous things are really, really annoying, and I'm not the only one. And if you do, please let me know down below so that I can know that I'm not completely just, like, a cranky old bitch, basically. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love seeing my views and my likes and my comments, and I appreciate everything that you guys do for me and allowing me to talk to myself and a camera because I get joy out of it, so mahalo. If you love me, then you can go like me on Twitter, you can go like me on Facebook, those links are all down down below, and please subscribe to my channel. All right, humans, I will see you next week. Mahalo, motherfuckers.